right. I think I'm here. I think. I think I'm here. Can everybody hear me? Can you hear me through the mic? Is the volume good? Are you content with the new webcam? You asked for it. You craved it. You you desired it. And so I delivered. Uh, if the desktop audio gets louder than me, like noticeably so, because it does sound a little loud for me, uh, let me know. And then uh, we will adjust accordingly. But we're here uh, for pretty much, as far as I'm concerned, uh, one of Sarah's favorite games. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. But uh, well, I remember her playing a little bit of it on her own, and, uh, well, yeah, so, it's my first time ever playing, uh, any of the Ratchet and Clanks, uh, so, I'm not 100% sure of what to expect, but we're gonna try, so, here we see. <clears throat> As, uh, per usual, got myself a little liquid courage here. Mm. Mm. And some good old water. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. I take it he does not have a robotic ignition system? Or he does and he doesn't like them. Many, many, many robots. That doesn't look like the rest of them. Apparently, he's seen something horrific and stolen that little robot and is now uh, escaping conveniently to safety. Thank God they left that spaceship unlocked, huh? <laughs> Approaching planet Belden, 11.47 a.m. local time. Is that Eastern Standard Mountain Pacific UTC? Oh, well, that was convenient. Suppose I ought to go check on that little toaster oven. Maybe salvage some parts from it. Okay, I am in this. Whoa. Ratchet got a little bit of the crazy eyes there, huh? Welcome to the Gadgetron. Yes. To advise during your interplanetary travel. Okay. It's a little bit of a collectathon. I can work with that. I know how those work. Did I miss him? I did. I don't know who that guy is, but he looks. I've seen him on the cover of stuff, so. I take it he's important. Ha! There we go. Yeah, but I decided to play Ratchet and Clank because uh, Sarah and I used to have a two-bedroom apartment. And we turned the second into our sort of office uh, since I worked from home slash uh, guest room slash games room. Uh, so I had my retro console in there, uh, as well as my old PS2. Sometimes the audio tweaks a little bit, I'm not crazy about that, but I think that's just the version of the game that I'm playing. 
It might be a little weird coming through my Elgato. Um, but yeah, she uh, she came home with me for Christmas, and we went to a sort of retro store that has old DVDs, CDs, and video games called The Exchange. Uh, kind of your typical secondhand electronics store. Um, with all the unfortunate extra prices. But, um, oh, there we go. Ha, got him. Uh, she bought a original copies for the PlayStation 2. Uh, since I had an original old copy. And I, uh, I remember her just being so excited plugging in the game back on the old TV that I had. And, yeah, she, she smiled a hell of a lot. She did say, man, I remember the graphics looking so much better. Uh, so that's why I'm playing the PlayStation 3 version with the remastered graphics. I mean, don't get me wrong, this doesn't look unbelievably phenomenal, but I think that for what it is, it, honestly, I gotta put credit where credit is due. This game looks just as good as Deadly Premonition does, so. <laughs> it is what it is. I ain't got time to bleed. Uh, my bomb glove. All right. What does that button do? Hey, I like that. <laughs> All right. I mean, if it's just an explosive, uh, you know, um, what's it called? If it's if it's an explosive collectathon, then I'm, I think I'm gonna be at home here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a collective on, but I mean, so far the universe here is not ugly. I mean, it's very PlayStation 2. I can definitely sense, like, you know, it's making me think of Sly Cooper a little bit. Wow. Just murdering robots. I don't know if that's illegal. I mean, are robots robots sentient beings in this in-game universe? It's a little hard to tell. Like, what is a friend and what is a foe? Like, am I am I gonna have to rockin' nuts? <laughs> hey, what's going on, Makai? I found a toaster or a blender. I found a a, a butt plug. What is this thing? I'm kidding, I know that it's sentient. <laughs> Tee -hee. Interesting. Yeah. You with your wrench? You bet. I built that ship with it. He's got a raspier voice than Currently I would have figured. I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Yeah, what is Hello, it? Hello, citizens of. Hmm. My race hmm. and blog have a small problem. Our planet has become I made so a uh, sort of white Russian for myself. That we are no longer a dwell here. But I, Chairman of the Solution, mm -hmm. we are constructing a steam new world using the choices of the planet. Yes. My mic is suddenly loud. Let me 
Let's see if I can fix that. Is that better? Perhaps, maybe. So I, I didn't plug in my new mic, and maybe I ought to. Okay. Mm. It is better, he said. Okay, that's good. Okay. I mean... Hmm. Oh, do I want to do the thing? I mean... Okay. Okay. This could be a problem. Give me one second here. I gotta watch this cutscene and then I'll try and get this squared away. the guy. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens would not in the city where my work has been. Preposterous. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, <coughs> you have no choice in the matter. Let's just take what Captain Clark has to say. <laughs> you see, with some money, Captain Clark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat. This really is humor of a different age. I'm going to take a second here, try to work on this mic. Give me a minute.
Okay. I think I think this is good. Everybody, uh, if we can get a little check see here in the chat. How is the mic sounding? How's it looking? Are we are we good? Are we doing better? Maybe. Hopefully. Sort of. I await your answer. I sound quiet. Okay, well I can adjust that. Okay. More or less, I can adjust that. New mic, getting used to it, figuring out the channels. Okay. Well, I don't know if that actually increased my mic. I think that just means I need to up the thing. Okay, I can do that. No problemo. All right, how about now? Better? Maybe? Sort of? Aiming it towards my face. Trying to get it authentically close to me. Well, that's great. Ambient. Uh, I wasn't exactly expecting to say goodbye to it on stream, but I have had this mic right here is Blue Yeti since I was a sophomore in college. Uh, I got it for Christmas. I was extremely excited uh, and it has treated me well through uh, my first ever streams and gameplays uh, when I played uh, as many other gamer tags. It supported me as part of uh, podcasts and radio programs and freelance work. And it uh, was all very, very, uh, well, it, it was crucial. It was very special to me. But, as I think it has become apparent over uh, the streams here, it has gotten old and uh, thus in need of retirement. So, uh, Blue Yeti, it has been nice. Uh, I would recommend you as a product to others, but in the end, uh, I might not have taken the greatest care for you. And thus, you can see here my fancy new RGB mic uh, as well as my new fancy webcam, which I believe is picking things up here in uh, 1080p. So, uh, we continue, ideally, without any more audio stuttering or breaks or issues like that. The only thing I'm not crazy about, personally, is I have already, earlier today, done quite a bit of work around and underneath my desk to get things properly set up for the stream. But I'm gonna have to undo some stuff later on to get the mic properly squared away. But I am not going to put off the stream for that uh, because, well, I mean, it's for Sarah, so. Uh, but with that, uh, and without any more further ado, we can continue. So, let's get to it. Hold on. Ah, oh, I love to say that, and then all of a sudden it goes, hey, you want to know something, guy? What if, and hear me out, your audio was weird through your device. Okay. Let me try that again. Okay. Great. Now let's see. Oi! Hello! Volume! Oh my goodness. Okay. That was loud. And I think we're ready now. Alright. Ratchet and clank. While this text is on screen, do not turn off the power. Well, I wasn't intending to. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bomb glove ammo. And uh, 
py pyrositor. I don't think I need a pyrositor because I can't afford a pyrositor. So I got to get used to triangle being the exit and you know function button. It's a little interesting. Whoa. Okay. So I take it some mining is happening or some uh, demolition of sorts, which is intriguing. Yep. There we are. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way, but I'm going to for now, so deal with it. My gameplay, I, I do what I want. <laughs> Alright. I mean, ah. Ha! Took that guy out, didn't I? So far, I think we're doing okay. I don't know if I should have blown that up just yet, but that's all right. Is there anything else that looks like we should be going to it? Uh, am I able to? No. Okay. That's all right. Let's head on back this way. See what's going on. This is the kind of secret path looking for stuff that Sarah's whole family really likes to do. They they tend to play games together. And they're a big fan of actually, you know, hunting for the secret stuff. For me, that's not really the kind of gaming I did when I was a kid, but I also was a, a lonely game player, so that's why I used a PlayStation. There were many, 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 many single-player games in my past, present, and future. Ah, come on. No! Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Am I supposed to... Hmm. Well, we did come in from there, didn't we? No. Okay. Yeah, I think I just have to go this way for now. Which is alright. Whoa. Spring. Whoa, there we go. Now we're up on the ceiling. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, I don't want to miss those barrels, though. That's the kind of thing I could hear Sarah say, and I would go, well, I mean, it's just barrels. It just has money in it, and she would go, I know, that's the point, and you miss the money. And I would go, okay, well, I guess that's a fair point. <laughs> she was very particular about her collectathons. <laughs> Then again, me acting as though I'm not Mr. Particular Gamer, I think would be pretty hypocritical, so. <laughs> hey! That's kind of funny. He's extorting us. Yeah. Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> uh oh. Hold on a minute here, guys. I just realized. Give me one second. Hold on. Hmm. That's interesting. Real... Real quick, you guys can hear the game properly, correct? I just want to make sure it's coming through the mic. Just 
I want to make absolutely sure. Can't hear the game audio. Okay, I thought so. Yep, that would be the case. Okay. How about now? Hearing things? Hopefully, maybe, sort of, potentially. Aha! I see an aha in there. That's glorious. Hey, everyone's excited. Uh, is, are, is the audio mixing good? Is the, is the mic to desktop audio ratio solid? Is that what folks are looking for? here but I also I think I think things are going okay I think people are content I see the excited salamander and I just I you know all right cool everyone's solid great this is one of those moments that I can already hear nice going goober we, we need the audio actually I make Sarah sound a lot meaner than she really was normally she, she enjoyed and relished uh, sometimes giving me flack in front of others, but <laughs> when it was just sort of us, not really, no. Uh, oh, hey, I know what to do here. My Ratchet. Get it? Because my name is Ratchet? <laughs> anyway. Uh, also, it is still a little too bright for me to use the light effect on my ring light, but at least the webcam looks nice. Y'all can see my reactions in perfect 1080p. My old mic, uh, my old webcam, rather, only went up to 720, so I upgraded. Um, and originally I thought to myself, I don't need the mic upgrade, I'm sure the Blue Yeti's fine, but... So far, this game has no more audio stutters. Uh, the mic doesn't pop back and forth and back and forth. So, as much as I hate to say it, I did need that mic upgrade. But, the good news is, it only seems to have, uh... Whoa. Okay. Alright, well, real quick here. I want to make sure I have full air. Uh, but it makes me think that we are all... Good and fine and dandy. Should be all, all okay from here on out. Alright. So I think I'm gonna have to be quick about this, but let's see if we can pull this off, huh? Yep. That ought to do. Alright. Now let's check the bottom of the tank. Anything of value down here? Not that I can tell. So, has anyone else played Ratchet and Clank? Because I, you know, I mean, this was a popular franchise. It's been around for a hot minute. I know they just made the most recent iteration for the PS5. Um, I know Sarah's family is big on it, but am I, am I like one of the only people on the planet who has missed this franchise? Because it seems to be the case. Yep, that's one for uh, one from Lyra. First two games, nice. Well, uh, from what what Sarah said, one of her absolute favorites. So happy to be getting to finally try it out. Although I guess happy is a little bit maybe not the the operative word. Y'all know what I mean though. We're, we're figuring it out. We're gonna. Honor her memory a little bit, play a fun game, and it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what all the healing's about, right, guys? All about just taking it in stride. Let's see, let's see. Oh, come on, get up on the ledge. There you go. Uh, nope. Well, actually, I didn't check. Nope, nothing down there. Very explosive. Well, I, I do like boom booms. It's it's true. Um, let's see here. Okay. What if I were to go this way? Man, 
honestly, good on Ratchet. Because he can, he can really swim with the best of them here. Or so it seems, anyway. I seriously have no idea if I'm going the right direction. I'm just... I think I am, for what it's worth. Yeah, like, there is... I mean, obviously, I don't think I'm supposed to jump off a cliff and get down there, but... Okay, because see, now I'm back here. Huh. Okay, well, can I... I yeah, okay. I can at least buy the f fire gun, so that's cool. Hey, got a new gun. Yeah, this is very... Mmm. Oh, this has a forced racing sequence, like Sly Cooper does? Yo, I'm kind of down with that, though. Ooh, wait, L3? Okay. So it says if I go all the way up there, there is something to look at. Not that way, though. Okay. So I gotta go this way? No. So it's saying... Right. I don't think I can go down there. Is the oh, yes, I can. Okay. Yes, several. Well, you know, sometimes it just do be like that. What can, what can we say, right? Yo! That's kind of cool. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's growing on me. The fact that you get, like, multiple guns to work with versus, like, for example, Sly Cooper, you only get the hook. And yeah, you get some techniques you get to use, which is a really cool element. Like, I like getting different stuff for combat or stealth or whatever else. Um, but there is something really satisfying on the PS2 of getting to use, like, a new fire. I mean, like, even even in um, God of War, they had multiple weapons that Kratos could use. And I thought that that was really cool. I thought that was really well thought out by um, uh, Santa Monica, or Sa Santa, Santa Monica Game Makers. Alright. Well, apparently everything's on fire and getting attacked. Not ideal for the people of this, uh, local vicinity. You know what I mean? Let's see, let's see. Okay. Now, what I want to know is... Am I able to... This feels like it should be a thing. You know? I'm just... That's just like a manhole cover, I guess? Okay. Well, actually, hold on. <laughs> what is he doing? Look at this man. Alright. That's the same button. Okay, that's like the camera. Yeah, it's a, so the same thing on the shoulder buttons. I'm not crazy about. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, okay. Maybe the bomb? Maybe I gotta back up a little bit. I'm trying to figure this out on my own. Maybe I'm crazy. Nope. Okay. Guess I just gotta keep proceeding. No biggie. If I tap the button? No, it makes me tap and hold. Okay. Not my favorite system, but it's alright. Yo, get back here, coward. fight you all. I shall fight them in the fields and with a flamethrower. Hard time figuring out. Yeah, I mean, like, I I'm already kind of there, to be honest, but it's not, like, impossible. It's just, yeah. I'm happy it feels nostalgic, though. Like, really. Like, actually very happy to hear that. That's what Sarah was saying. Although I think she would have preferred to have, like, good graphics for it. What the hell is this thing? Huh. Um, I don't know if I'm able to really swing through there just yet, so I shall not try. I shall.
now pick up these. I don't want to not get my nuts and bolts. Mostly my nuts, though. Uh. Hey, guess we got some ammo. Ooh, is there gonna be a thing here? Yeah, wow. Oh boy, guys, we gotta be careful. We we gotta we gotta walk around the path. This is a brand new one with good graphics. Yeah. Yeah, I think one has to wonder what Sarah would think about all this. Uh, or, you know, I could just fall in the water like a dummy. Sounds like an Ethan kind of thing to do, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, she, uh, I think she would definitely get a much better kick out of this. I think this is what she m more so is used to playing, since her family definitely picked up the, um, yeah, the upgraded stuff. Also, yeah, no, 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 the, the one for the PS5 with Chick Ratchet and, uh, you know, the other bots and all that. I, I, well, we'll see how much I like this one. I know there's quite a few. I haven't fully, like, decided I'm going to necessarily play through, like, the whole trilogy and all of the other iterations, though. To be honest, it would not be hard to come across. I don't think that they're, you know, like, exactly blown out of proportion on the collector's market. Luckily. But, uh, yeah, let's see. I'll think about it. Yo, did you blow up your friend, you dick? Come back here. Ah, I'm being assaulted. I'm being assaulted. Probably should have used the bomb there, but hey, you know. We're new to this. And there's also some energy over here. I do like that you have some level of magnetism to pick up stuff. So that's fun. Yeah, this seems like a like a fight region. Hey, guess who gets to use his bombs and stuff? Oh, you guys like shooting rockets? Well, guess what? I can do that too. Crazy. More like grenades, but you know what I mean. Bye. Oh, look who it is. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. So, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info box. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Oh my god. I forgot the PS2 era where every protagonist is kind of a dick for no reason. Because <laughs> we're all edgy in the PS2 era. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark. And believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, <laughs> Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's Robo Shack, it's quarktastic. What? Do you know what this means? <laughs> yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, we're not <laughs> this. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, well, uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. Why is Ratchet such an unbridled asswipe? God damn it. Man, I gotta work my way to the universe where everybody's so great and we love each other because we're so smart and nice and cool and fun. That's what I've heard about the latest one. <laughs> also, Captain Quark sounds like every uh, infomercial guy from the late 90s, early 2000s for like sock em boppers or uh, zoo books or you know, all those other things we saw as a kid. Zoo books in particular was the big thing for me. 
Allow your child to understand the beautiful world through the colorful pages of zoo books. <laughs> oh, like he actually is the guy? Or like he just sounds like it, you mean? Because honest to God, yeah. Uh, oh boy. I... See, like, this is next in order. But it's further away from Metropolis. But it feels like going to Metropolis is what I should do. So I guess I should do that. Visit Al's RoboShack. Blast off to Al's RoboShack. Actually, hold on. I want to... Oh, no. We already saw this. Yeah, okay. Let's just blast off. Zoo I, I I don't know if anyone out there uh, ordered zoo books. Shit slapped. My mom loved zoo books almost as much as I did, such to the point that she decided to fill the bookshelves of her kindergarten classroom legitimately with my old zoo books when I got too old for them. Um, and kids nowadays, uh, kids in her kindergarten class, still to this day read my old zoo books. I can go to her classroom and pick one of those off the shelf and read them just like I did back in, you know, 2001 and 3. Like, all that stuff. It's really fun. Most points in the accelerated reading program. My man! That's what's up. Let's see here. What do you got? Hi there, Fuzzball. Wow. That's... Oh, that's a nice one. That's racist. I don't, I don't like you calling me that. What if I called you scale, Scaly Slug? Would you like that? I don't think so. I don't think you'd like that very much, guy. I don't think you'd like that very much, buddy. How about that, guy? Alright. Uh, I gotta work my way up to 2,500. Okay. Wow. Nope. No, thank you. No mas. Oh my god, he can take two grenade hits? Oh my god. That's crazy. Uh, what other old infomercials did people remember? Sarah and I used to talk about some of them. The big thing uh, that she really... We, there was a time, actually, where it was just like a weekend day uh, when we used to live in Greenville, South Carolina together. And we spent like a whole day talking about... Um, legitimately, like, commercials we wanted to hate watch. Like, old commercials, right, that fully we just despised. And a big thing for her, she had some very particular ones growing up in the South that were just completely foreign to me, honestly. But, uh, one that I remember while growing up, right, was, uh, J.G. Wentworth. Y'all know the one. Where, and, like, they, they turned it into opera for some reason. That one got, like, it, it seeped into the gray matter of my mind. I, I'm in trouble and I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth, 877-CASH-NOW. 877-CASH-NOW. It's sort of like that same thing with, um, I don't like this. Uh, sort of that same vibe with, um, what's it called? Uh, gracious. Um, sorry, there's a lot of stuff here on screen. Uh, oh my god, Wentworth. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Um, and then the, uh, 8776 Cars for Kids. That's another good one. Cars for Kids is a classic. I think we all know that one. Um... At least around, I don't know if they're around more regions than like West Pennsylvania where I grew up, but the the Molyneux people, who I think, and, and you know, don't, uh, don't quote me on this. Am I supposed to fight this guy? I don't feel like I'm able to fight this guy right now. I think I'm just, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go away now. I don't really feel like fighting that guy unless I have like a way of walking on and stuff. Be gone, foul dogs. Um, 
Yeah, but the uh, get to know, Mala, no. They were like carpet people, at least around here. Um, like, okay, so Makai, you say that's a weird thing. And, I mean, like, it's not a common thing, I'll be honest. But you are certainly not the only person uh, who was in that situation, right? And, funny enough, the other person I know in that sort of situation, right, also grew up in, um, in Virginia. Uh, was my, my ex before Sarah. The big one in my life. She grew up in the Virginia area. Not that I should be doxing people, I guess. Ratchet, um, I mean, it's a whole state, to be fair. But, yeah, she, like, her parents hey, would not guy, right? have any no, TV. It's crazy. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. <laughs> now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your infobot announcement. Sorry, I you feel like I should Captain be paying Quark. attention to this We're plot. Trying to find Captain Quark. At least we a little bit. Help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP Maybe that's a little sister bright. boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. Yo, I may be able really to help you out after fun. all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Match. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Uh, yeah. Hey, the ability to have a helipack? Hey, for sure. Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, so if I like triple tap it, it'll do a slow descent is what I'm gaining here. The boost jump feature to climb these boxes. Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. Okay, so like more mobility. I kind of like that actually. Netflix back when it was mail order DVDs. Yo, you're breaking my heart over here. It really makes me feel like I was incredibly. I mean, my. I like to think that one of the reasons my dad got a PlayStation 2 was just because of the DVD feature. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. But I think legitimately, um, he also liked video games at the time. And, and I mean, the PS2 was one of the greatest, I mean, I don't need to tell any of you guys, you already know. But like, historically, for those who don't know, it was one of the greatest consoles of all time. And uh, a lot of people bought it, in particular. And it was a great idea because it also had a DVD player built in. So when DVD became a big thing and VHS kind of st uh, started to peter out, a lot of people were like, oh, well, I'm not going to buy like a full extra console for that. I can just do this and my kids can play games and they were right kicked ass man like big big fan i just want to go destroy that great um i mean i still technically have one that i bought uh as like a backup eventually my fat one broke which you know destroyed my entire heart and soul but um I also had a backwards compatible PS3. I had one of like the OG PS3s when it first came out. And that was the fucking greatest to have all that backwards compatibility. But alas, uh, no more. And then I had to get a new PS3 eventually because I played my old one to the actual like equivalent of the Xbox Red Ring of Death called the Yellow Light of Death for the PlayStation. Absolutely sucked. Um, gutted. Just absolutely heartbroken. But, I mean, I still have my old, uh, or my, my, my backup PlayStation 3, with which I, Atari and N64 years pass are better than Xbox original. Oof. My console's history was wacky up. Uh, yeah, no, I did play that shit straight into the ground. Um... I mean, my PS2 just, I think, also... Eventually, when I got the PS3, I stopped playing on the PS2 as much. So, it probably got, like, a little 
naturally old and dusty on top of just not seeing as much play. Years passed, and then the next one we got was Xbox. Not better then. I forgot what shit meant. Oh, you need to put, like, a dash before you put those arrow signs, because then it becomes an arrow and not, like, a greater than sign, like in math. <laughs> but I also go with you. Um, I mean, that's not, like, crazy different. I, what's, I think I'm a little bit of an outlier, because I legitimately... I never had a Nintendo home console... Um, my dad was on the Sega side of the, uh, the competition, I guess. So, legitimately... Oh boy, I need some health here. Where are these goddamn things coming from? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to die. Let me alone. I'm just trying to find some health. Goddamn. Can a motherfucker just get some goddamn health? Boy. Please leave me alone. Leave me be. Leave me be! Maybe that thing's... Oh, no! I walked on a bomb. It's my own time. Um, I my, my sister and I... So I got a Game Boy Advanced SP. And my parents really didn't want to get me one. But the only reason I got one is because all of my friends had one and kept talking about Pokemon. So my parents got me, like, Metroid... Prime, uh, no, 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 it was Metroid, oh god, which one, which Metroid was it for the Game Boy Advanced FP? It was, it was a really popular one in, like, hindsight, but I sucked at it, I was not good at all, and I gave up on it really quick, and then they also got me Final Fantasy Tactics, which are, or, sorry, Final Fantasy Advanced Tactics, which... I, I liked the story, but I hated the gameplay, which is ironic considering that now I think that Tactics is like my fi my preferred version of Final Fantasy. Eventually, like when on the actual PlayStation consoles with like Final Fantasy uh, 7, 8, 9, and I want to say 10, um, I just was, yeah, so they're coming out of that machine. Um, I truly just never was a fan of turn-based fighters. Um, I had a, I had a blue Game Boy Advanced SP, um, and I did buy, like, some games, but, like, I legitimately, uh, I was already, like, a, a retro-loving hipster douchebag back when I was 10 or whatever, because I had the SP, and I went on vacation with my family to Disney World, and I stayed in a room, uh, so my, my family went with my mom's, like, favorite best friend and roommate in college and, like, her family, right? So, uh, I stayed with an older kid named Kyle, and Kyle had, uh, the original Game Boy, right? And he had, uh, the Game Boy equivalent of some of the old NES games, like Super Mario Brothers, and I was like, oh! Fuck yeah, I want Super Mario Brothers on my Game Boy. All I have is uh, Super Mario World 2 and like Mario, uh, Mario Superstars Advance or whatever it was. And Kyle was like, oh, bro, if you don't want that, I'll trade you. And I thought he was an idiot, man. I just kept... I played the ever-loving shit out of that cartridge. I think I still have it um, in like storage right now. Uh, but, oh my god, played the fucking hell out of that, and like, uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, that's another incredible one, um, ironically, also kind of a turn-based game, but like, one I actually sort of like, um, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I did play a decent amount on the SP, but it, that was sort of like my first real Nintendo console, I only did like the handhelds, my sister got really into uh, the DS. I only played on the DS just so I could play uh, Mario Kart with people. Like, I remember being on the bus, and it was that trial mode where you could literally play online for free as long as one kid had Super Mario uh, Mario Kart or whatever, right? And there was always one person, it was like the rich kid in school, and everybody else <laughs> could just play for free. Oh, it was so sick. Uh, 
maybe if I turn that brightness off. Is that better? Oh, okay. And then I think that's better. Yeah, so you still get, this is the ring light. That, okay, let me, there we go. So we want that brightness. So you can still see my handsome face here in the dark uh, as we're all vibing along. I don't really know what the gold screw does, but that's all right. Point being, uh, yeah, Kyle kind of robbed me. <laughs> Uh, but now, like, as I got older and I started to get into emulation and whatnot, I, I did end up playing, like, quite a few, uh, old, advanced games. Like, the Game Boy Advance had some fucking bangers on it. And, and actually, the Game Boy Advance is where I ended up playing, like, and maybe this will be controversial, but, like, legitimately the only Pokemon games that I have ever liked. <laughs> I, uh, played on the the Game Boy Advance. I know I, I know we have some Pokemon fans in the chat, so I won't be fully controversial and say that the other ones are are, are trash or bad, but I will say uh, my personal favorites are yeah on the on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, <clears throat> so I started with Leaf Green, uh, which I know is already also a controversial choice because I'm sure like everybody I knew was like, nah man. Fire Red's got Charizard on it. Like, fuck your bolt, your Venusaur leaf green ass. I'm like, all right, bro, whatever. But legitimately, love leaf green. Um, I did also uh, play through Sapphire, and then I found out eventually that like there's more content, and it's still basically just uh, Sapphire on uh, Emerald but my sister technically owned the cartridge and for years she wouldn't uh, share it with me until, all right, until she basically stopped playing video games altogether. She, she kind of became like a popular girl in school and she became like a horse girl and had sports and stuff, right? <laughs> and legitimately, um, yeah, like she just kind of forgot that she actually owned the Game Boy. So I basically stole the cartridge <laughs> and it's been mine ever since. And she's like entirely forgotten about it. So yeah, guys, I just kind of admitted to stealing from my, my family, but you know, I was an older sibling. I was kind of a, I mean, I, I still am kind of a fuckhead, you know? Whoa, I almost fell off the edge there. Didn't love that. <laughs> Um, I technically also owned, um, my parents bought me, uh, Pokemon Diamond for the DS. I didn't end up really playing through it or even, like, finishing it, but I thought it was fine. Um, I, like, all the DS Pokemon games are, they're sort of, like, hit or miss for, for me, personally. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. Yeah. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. We must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. <clears throat> I'm counting on you. Ah, well, to be fair, like, maybe it's, um, that I well. kind of was, like, yes, the, the odd I man out fail. for, uh, like, Directly which iteration of games planet. that I had. Yeah, but if that's the kind of like, everybody good. else had, like, fire, 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 red, 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 you red. And for me, it was just red. like, he is quite dangerous. yeah, I have green and blue, and Wolf. I like my, Look, my colors. They're very chill. So I'm just here for Let's Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't even, like, compete with people. Like, I think I technically played online and dueled with, like, three kids in school. Um... And even then, like, I think I really beat them really, 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 really badly. And they didn't want to play with me anymore. <laughs> and they told, like, the other kids in school not to play with me. <laughs> like, it, it wasn't even that I was, like, I I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm that good. I really wasn't that good. I just think they were really, really bad. <laughs> quick fitness course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidents. Also played so well. Nice. Challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? 
Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Again, unbridled fucking asshole. Why are you being mean to Clank, you douche canoe? <clears throat> Play on a web browser? <laughs> nice. Uh, I mean, like, hey man. Uh, some people, they need to be competitive and stuff. Honestly, the games I got competitive about was entirely on the PlayStation. Like, all the fighter games. Um, I never really played the sports games, but my dad did buy them. Ooh, that was kind of cool. Ah, uh, here. I wanna... Uh, please? Oh, God. Yep. Should have seen that coming. Um, what else, what else, what else? Like, the original Naruto sh uh, Shippuden games. Or no, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. That was the OG one on the PlayStation. That shit fucking slapped. Um, technically, there is a fighter franchise game for the Dreamcast that's really popular. My buddy Sai would know what I'm talking about in an instant, but I kind of forget what it's called. But essentially... Uh, hey, that's fun. Um, there was a fighter game for the One Piece franchise called One Piece Grand Battle that it, it was better so it was only a 1v1 game but it was in the exact same style of this game which was meant to be like a four player battle royale uh, not quite top down sort of semi third person fixed camera right very much not like in the 2D plane like your typical smash game and it, it fucking slapped I can't stress how goddamn incredible and fun this game was uh, played the shit out of that, like the Zatch Bell games. I I really played a lot of like the Shonen uh, anime manga games, like a lot of them. <laughs> Those were my mains. Uh, obviously, in Zatch Bell, I was a Porygon main because you know, of course, I was. But anyway. Ooh. Right. Ah uh, no, no. Okay, so I really gotta like, got it. Okay, I get it. I see. I see what I had to do there. Okay, can I go that way? No, I can't. Um, the only fighting game. Soul Calibur 2 fucking slapped. Like, I didn't even... I, I skipped 3, which, like, in hindsight, I really didn't super need to. Uh, like, I've heard nothing but good things, but Soul Calibur 2... So which version did you have? I, I presume you had the... Gi did you have the, the Xbox version, right? I mean, if it's Makai I'm, I'm speaking to, I guess. Because I, I had the PS2 version. Yeah, he had the Xbox version. So I know PS2 had... Yeah, so you guys Listen got spawned. Up, you that was the most pathetic display oh I have ever seen on that obstacle course. Why are you German? What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, but it is weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Spawn was your main. <laughs> Yo, I loved Heihachi because he could just play so obnoxiously. Um, we also had Mimic, which was super fun. Or, no, 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 not Mimic. Sorry, Charade. That's what he was called. And then, uh, yeah, I'll buy the swing shot. Sure. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff oh. like this all the time. And then, um, Congratulations on your new uh, gadget yeah, shot. Uh, and you then the, the I know the GameCube version yeah. had Link, which, like, Link was honestly a pretty solid character. I never really cared much for Nintendo properties, because I kind of had, like, you know, I'll, I had really intense, uh, like, no, I don't need to play it, FOMO, when I was growing up, because everybody had a GameCube, and I had a PlayStation 2. Um... But, like, I played all the old classics still, like, you know, uh, Kingdom Hearts. I've been talking about getting back into it because, fuck, I love those games. Like, so, so, so stupidly much. Uh, 
probably should have paid attention to... Whoa! Oh my god, that's sick. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa! Crazy stuff. Okay. Like, uh, the creepiest character... <laughs> yeah, it's obviously Voldo. <laughs> um... Honestly, if I had to think about my main, I'm a little bit of a cheap bastard where I would play as uh, Cervantes. Uh, I do love Keelik. Keelik is solid. Um, Raphael I've come to build an appreciation for later on in life. Um, obviously, Astaroth is the fucking sickest ass character. Uh, I found out way too late that Talim is not in all the games. Uh, Ivy, you have to be, like, insanely good at. Everybody thinks you just play Ivy because you're like, ah, chicken, like, nude underwear. But, like, legitimately, Ivy is a hard character to play. I I'm still not great with Ivy. And I've seen some people just wipe the fucking floor with, uh... Like, Ivy players wipe the floor with other people. It's crazy. Um... Maybe, maybe. This is the okay. solar ship radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Oh, Relax, boy. kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Oh, oh no. That was close. Nightmare yeah. slaps. I actually later on in like Soul Calibur 4. I I love playing as Nightmare. Siegfried, I have a grueling appreciation for. Like OG Siegfried is still kind of fun, but like Nightmare in particular. And just, like, being able to not even use, like, the actual edge of your sword. Just realizing my sword is ginormous and I am a dude with a fist bigger than most human beings. And the fact that you can just, like, punch a guy back 30 feet or hit him with the broad side of your sword and send him fucking flying. That's incredible. I love it. <laughs> so... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of, of fun to be had with the Soul Calibur games. Um, and Soul Calibur, that's a real fighting game. When people are like, oh, I love fighting games. And then they're like, I'm so good at Smash. Smash is not really a fighter game to me. As like a typical arcade style fan, like King of Fighters or Street Fighter or Tekken. Tekken less so because it is still in that 3D plane. So, and same with Virtua Fighter, but... You know, like the original sort of cabinet style fighters. And, th and that's still a style that people like nowadays. Um, those are really, to me anyway, fighter games. It's him. There are fighting Skid elements in Smash, that and Smash is insanely Infobot. technical, flesh, and I'm dog do. shit at you Smash. So I'm not trying to, like, knock it as a, as a quality game. But it's not uh, in the pure like essence sort crime. of a fighter game. My agent and I, got I, I would, I would say. Right? Some people disagree with me on that, and, cry, and they are welcome to do so. Okay, I'm not, you know, Mr. Epitome of Gaming. Also, I probably shouldn't be talking over this. One sec. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMoggs, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. Ha. <laughs> all right. Let's go get a hoverboard, gang. All right. Far so good. And yeah, this new mic isn't necessarily... I mean, like, how does it sound? Because I, I could have sworn my old mic might have been a little crisper. And the Blue Yeti, I think, is... I mean, it's a, it's a more expensive microphone than, than the new replacement I bought. But, I mean, like, legitimately, how, how is it? Is it all right? Well, that's good. Okay, because I, I don't want the audio to be crap. But I just... Because I didn't know if I really would have to get rid of the old mic, so I was like, eh, maybe. Because during Deadly Premonition, it seemed fine, like, all day long. And then all of a sudden, here we are, and it's dog shit again, so... But I bought, like, a... 
I mean, between, between you, me, and uh, Mr. McGee, I ended up buying like a $40 mic, and I think for the purposes of what this stream is about, it's fine. My headset is still Audio-Technica, uh, which I'm incredibly proud of, um, and I've, I'm going to continue using this headset until it goes truly kaflooey, because god damn do I love Audio-Technica products. Uh, still, unfortunately, not a sponsor, but you know, Damn, dude. Sometimes you just gotta set shit on fire. You know what I mean? Wow. Crazy. Um, let's see here. Any more sand sharks to get rid of? Well, anyway. Um. I'll say it. This game. This game really makes me miss my best friend. She. I can understand why she had fun with this, and you know, thinking about uh, the younger version of that beautiful woman I fell in love with, playing through, and enjoying her childhood the same way I did growing up, getting to enjoy all of this, it's uh, nice, you know, but also a little sad. And I've been feeling a lot of that lately. I don't know. It's maybe it's because I'm finally getting to that point where uh, maybe the bomb glow. Yeah. How did I know? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I've been, I've been thinking a lot more about her, and I've been having trouble with debating how life's gonna move on next, and how if ever I'll be able to get back out there. And, I mean, these are real serious questions, you know, and things. And obviously, no one in the chat's going to have answers, and I don't mean to bum everyone out. I'm, I'm not really looking for feedback or answers. It's a question i got to deal with myself. But it's, it's hard, you know? You love someone and you know, keep them in your life, and then all of a sudden the world has different views on what's going to happen next not much we can really do about it, but just, if you have anyone you care about in your life, keep them close, do your best to appreciate them while you have them around, and really hope that if no one else has to ever really experience this kind of crap, you know? Because really, it's, it's shitty, so. <clears throat> And I do appreciate people being willing to hear me out when I have these talks. That's what it's all about, in a certain sense. Didn't, yeah, okay, I want to make sure it didn't take away that gold bolt from me. I'm coming back. Just give me a second, guy. It's over here. I feel like I haven't gone over here yet. Ooh, can I buy a new weapon? What do you got for me? I got some great bargains. Oh for yeah, you the today. blaster. Sure, I'll buy the blaster. Why not? Hmm. And uh, I haven't really had the heart to tell. I, I mentioned to Sarah's sisters that I'm playing games again, streaming. I don't think they really know the full premise of it, because it's not necessarily as... Obviously, their relationship with their sister is going to be different than the one that I had with her. Uh, so... But, eh, and same with, uh, like, you know, the, the, ment uh, the student she mentored, who's actually now... Uh, in her position at work. Uh, she is running the department that Sarah ran uh, at the uh, school where she taught, the college where she taught. And occasionally we text and it's hard. Um, some folks just reach out to me very casually and I, I just struggle because I don't always know what to say to people, you know? What, what can you say? How do you not make it cheesy or, you know, what's what's the right timing, what's all this stuff? It's, it's hard questions, but 
in my own way. You know, they know I care, and they know I'm still very much here to uh, listen to people as, as they need, so... At some point, I think, uh, maybe, maybe I'll try to have a little more interaction with people. And, I mean, not that I think, like, people here... I, I think it'd be like a weird inv invasion of people's privacy and their own process to like have interviews or other people like guest star play games with. But I think that there should be some level of people deserve to know, you know? So maybe in the future someday that could uh, that could be a thing. We'll see. Am I able to do the swing shot thing here? I don't think I am. No. No, it's just a weird thing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can invite them, but the intent behind it, you don't want to misconstrue as I'm trying to... I'm not trying to do this to be popular on Twitch or to make a... You know, make a, um, like a following off of tragedy. That's not what this is for. Other people like watching me play games because they think I'm entertaining or whatever it is. That's one thing. Um, Sarah found me plenty entertaining. I've tried to be a funny guy. Um, more often than not, my own self-worth issues and everything have made me uh, wonder whether I'm just a big old jerky jerk. But that woman I cared very much about loved me. And I think that every person in their own right uh, deserves to have their time to go through something like this in their own way. And for me, it's to do this and to put myself back out there and be a little more performative, um, which is the not for everybody. Use the swing shot. Yep. Okay. Well, aren't we happy that we got that squared away, huh? Whoa! Pretty crazy. Um, but for other people their way of handling the matter is a lot more personalized. Um, Sarah's family, for example, right? They are much more so, um, well, they're, they're not performing people. Uh, they're very quiet, very quiet, actually. And I don't think, in hindsight, I guess in foresight, actually, that they would be really, Whoa. Okay, so I only get so many times to really suck all that up. Uh, to really, you know, I don't, I don't think this would be there as much of their time. Like it is. And, you know, they've already played the games that Sarah loved with her while growing up. You know, like her sisters or her best friends or anything else. For me, this is all kind of new something I, I do love to do anyway, so maybe I think I'll just keep it here for now, but the, the, the point is, is that the future is kind of open for what this whole thing can be, because ideally one day I'll be able to, God willing, actually heal up and feel better, um, in a sense, anyway. So, so we'll see. We'll figure it out together. Just appreciate y'all being here in general just to help me with that. It has been nice. And I will try not to abuse that privilege of having an audience for anything on you know? That's a guarantee for me. Just a little serious side note. Huh. Well, with all that said, it is fun. I'm still having a good time, so. Do 
very much appreciate getting the chance to do this with all y'all. So thanks for coming to the stream. It has been chill. Yeah. In a sense. Happy note. I get to play some very classic old popular games. I get to uh, spend some time with all y'all. Well, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm doing okay so far. I appreciate that guy. You know, when I moved in, um, and there's another very good friend of mine, uh, Min Young, who some of you might or may not know. She and her boyfriend, Nate, uh, were very. They were, they were pretty much Sarah's best, well, Min Young in particular, right? Uh, no. Uh, she was Sarah's best friend in grad school. Mine was named Lexi, who I don't think has been able to make a appearance here on in the, in the stream just yet. She's been meaning to, but she's in her PhD right now. Um, so I got to spend a lot of time with Min Young and her boyfriend, Nate, who moved with her to Chicago while she did her grad program with Sarah. <laughs> and uh, that's where she met Sarah, rather. Oh, hold no on. Real quick. Oh, fine, fine this downtime is killing me. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. Your Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. Haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard this races was a in Blackwater break. City, I'll make you my next star. That's probably. We have no time for maybe it's the same thing, sir. and I'm just mm. tweaking. I don't know. Mm. could be the next Skid McMark. Uh, okay. So I need to do the hoverboard race still. Anyway, um, as I was saying, though, yeah, uh, so I moved into this new place, right? And I gave a call to my best friend at the time, uh, Lexi, who, you know, got eventually to meet Sarah. And only once or twice, because she herself, during the whole pandemic and everything, she stayed pretty much in her apartment all the time. Much like I did until I met Sarah. And then I stayed in Sarah's apartment the whole time, right? Um, maybe I need to check my map. Okay. So I need to go that way. Yep. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll take this little way over here. See if that speeds it up. But she knew Sarah only a little bit. Uh, and she and I have kept up since graduation. It's been uh, a couple years now. And uh, I reached out to her when I finished moving in. I don't want the music to play through. I just kind of want to explain this. Um, so, you know, I moved in uh, to my, my new place. I'm going to turn down that brightness a bit. There we go. Uh, well, maybe I don't need it. 
point being <laughs> is uh, it was a, it was a rough day. I I didn't sleep at all. Had to freak out to get a truck, as I might have explained on the channel before. And you know, I'd lived with my folks for six months. Um, I had not really been alone uh, in all that time since then. And you know, I I kind of forced it. I was, my parents were like, you can come and sleep in your own place. You don't even have your mattress delivered yet for your bed or anything like that. And I said, nope, I'll sleep on an air mattress. I will, I need, I need this. Um, to be in my own space, to like force myself to be like, this is my home now, this is my space. And I dropped the truck off, um, I got in my car, and I said goodbye, and I hugged my parents, and I started driving home, and I, I plugged my phone back into my car, I was sweaty, I was exhausted, I smelled like shit, I hadn't slept, and I just started crying, like a, like a lot. Um, and I called my friend Lexi, and I said, you know, I explained what was going down, and she said, you know, it's perfectly fine to feel these things, but she she said that Sarah would be would be proud, and I mean. That's that's kind of all all I wanted. Um, I had to spend because you know she and I started dating the day after Valentine's Day, right? And I had to I had to go through Valentine's Day, and then our three-year anniversary. And then my birthday, uh, with, without my, without my best friend. And, and all, all I wanted, uh, and just gift wise. Uh, because I knew she couldn't come back, uh, was just a single text message. Uh, from her just just one even if even if her mom had to write it and lie to me uh, even if uh, a robot sent it I, I do not care just from her onto my phone saying that that she loved me and that she been all this time that she's been gone that she's been proud of me um That's all I write about in my journal. That's all I think about when I close my eyes, when I wake up. And now here I am playing her favorite game, thinking about the, the person she was before she met me. Um, she wasn't always the happiest person. I'm, I'm certainly not. Um, I've, had, I've had a real bitch of a time sometimes. And I have had, I have had um, a real bitch of a time this year. But I'm, I kind of came to terms with that pretty quick. Um, for Sarah, she was a much nicer person, always, always more than I am, uh, more than I have ever been, more than I could ever hope to be. And she, she just struggled sometimes. She struggled and, uh, and I, I just kind of, I pushed back. I would always push back at life, at people, at things. Um, I became kind of a, a jerk when life got hard on me. So, point being, 
is, um, you know, to think about the game that my best friend could be happy playing during the worst times of her life and be happy and be a kid and live in a really fucked up world and be happy and now and now I get to do that and uh, I mean it's nice of you guys to say that it is uh, but I just don't know I'd like I'd like to make her happy but I I just don't know right now and that's okay sometimes sometimes we're not meant to know it's a big question with not really a clear answer and uh, you know I'm not asking for people to be pushing back or anything like that right now I'm just just being legitimate I don't really know and that's all right the point is is we're all here together. And we all miss that woman like fucking crazy. <laughs> and, uh, and we're still. And we're still trying. And I know you guys are still here. And I really appreciate it. So. It's real nice to have folks here. Too ambitious there. If you want to impress this again. agent, you'll have to win a hoverboard race. The nearest hoverboard race is in Blackwater City on Planet Wilgar. I just say, Ethan. Come on. See, we're getting some potential other folks here in the stream. Welcome, everybody. Appreciate folks popping in. I uh, just had a little bit to say and address uh, as to how I've been feeling lately. And, uh, well, thanks to folks for being kind and listening for a bit. I'll try not to do that too terribly much. I know folks will say, oh, well, you're allowed to. Oh, I know that. But the point is, you came here to watch me play some games. And I can technically do both, so I'll try to do both. Unless it's absolutely necessary. I promise. You can use the right camera to control the camera. If you'd like, you can reverse your camera control. Just select camera from the options menu. Them bolts. There we go. You had a great taste in games. Terrible taste in men, but great taste in games. <laughs> I promise I won't make too many more of those jokes. At some point, I will say, um, I do want to play some games. I, I have a couple other interests in mind. The unfortunate part is I am going to <laughs> I'm going to have to watch my family dog Chet. Uh, that's why I put on vacation mode here. You might see on the schedule. 
So I won't be able to really have a recurring schedule for the next like Using week or so. Um, and then one of my friends here in the chat, uh, Lyra, is going to be visiting another friend of ours, uh, Moha, and myself here in town. So that's going to mean that uh, my schedule might be a little different uh, for the for a bit. Hello. Do I have to hit this? Um, I feel like there should be something here. No, you're not ruining nothing. You're fine. Probably. Oh, this is like a new, a new tool. Lasers are mounted on each ring of the invincible. Okay. Aim the lasers at the receptors on the outside ring to turn them green. All receptors must be green before the invincible. So I decided to make it all, uh, you know, um, green. Okay, it's not terribly hard. And no, there's no ruining of the schedule. I set the damn schedule, and even then there hasn't really been a, a consistent one, so. Sorry to everybody about that one, but, uh, I think at some, man, like, the more I talk about it, the more I really want to play it. I, I really want to get back into Hades like really 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 fucking badly so i may i might just have to uh you know i might have to do that we will see um eliminate the sharks for the hoverboards okay. maybe maybe this yeah, is the no, solution yeah okay we get it we get it thank you okay um yeah yeah hades i might have to i might have to play some freaking hades man because that game fucking slaps um and the second one's gonna be coming out but like i think i need to put that off so i can play the second one before the or i need to play the first one before the second one comes out i mean like i think that's just probably gonna work out better okay i need to go this way and destroy the sand sharks i can do that play it twice absolutely we can only play games once. We we live in a society. You can't just hobnob around and dilly dally with your Ah, oh, just play it, play it twice. What what do I look like? Some sort of heathen play a goddamn video game twice. Indeed. What why don't I wear the same shirt twice? Or wash my underwear? I've worn the same goddamn pair of underwear since I was... I, I'm not gonna finish that statement. Never mind. Yes, I do look like a heathen. Fuck you. <laughs> Fair, but also fuck you. <laughs> Put on my nice red uh, hula shirt and everything. So crazy. Uh, okay, so I just to go this way. Why am I... Oh, okay, Gu guys, 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 hello, guys, my dudes. Okay, hold on. All right, I need, I need, I need personal space, please. No, oh, my God. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try that again with the correct weapon of choice. Weapon of choice. A good song. I like the music video with. Uh, you know, Christopher Walken. Stay away, you heathens. Yeah, how do you like it, fuckers? Oh my god. Alright. Killed their whole family. I w what, so one day someone who looks like me will exterminate your whole fucking race, man! Anyone know what that's from? Starship Troopers? Or no? Is that Aliens or Starship Troopers? I always forget. It's one or the other. I know that much. Also, man, I should... I kept thinking about buying the, um... The Starship Troopers, um... Video game on the Steam sale, and I didn't. Because it, it, it looks like it'd be more fun with people. Maybe I will at some point. I'll think about it. Mm. Alright, I got 
gotta go up here. I need to make myself another drink here in a second. Should be a way of getting up there. Should there not? Maybe I just need to like legitimately get rid of them all. Hmm? I hear like the little skimpering sound, which means there should be a sand shark nearby, right? Am I crazy? Do I need to like plug the key in or something? I thought red, red shirt would be kind of a fun change. Oh my god! Where the fuck do those bastards come from? Yeah, you fuckers like it, huh? On real quick here. Apparently, I gotta burn some more creatures to uh, untimely demise. Oh no, I've killed them all. Oh no, the precious little orange babies. Oh no. They're fucking dead. <laughs> fucking got them, bro. Alright, got my full health back. Gotta take these little bastards out. Oh shit, shit fucks. No! Okay. I think I got them all. I think I got them all anyway. We'll find out in a moment. Let's see here. Oh no, it tells me how many are left in the bottom corner there. Okay, well that's good to know. I only have two left. Should be able to square that away. I heard some stuff up there. So it's like, what, over here? Why do I feel like it's glitched? Like, I feel like I should have gotten them, right? Do I need to, like, mom something? Hmm. Like, you guys hear it. It's clearly over here. This is so weird. God dang, man. Like, it, it sounds like it should be here. You know what I mean? What is, what do people think I should, eh, maybe, maybe it's up here. Maybe I missed, oh, hold on. You see? Like down there, maybe? Okay, hold on. Gotta be like very particular with how I aim this stupid thing. There we go. Got him! Ha <laughs> hey! Here, man, catch. A brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bear. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. You've just acquired a Gadgetron Yo. Z3000 hoverboard. Use your... We love a forced race section, right, guys? Isn't that the greatest? Fuck the sand sharks. <laughs> Man, fuck them sand sharks and shit. You know what I mean? 
know what I mean? Nah, that sounds... That sounds vaguely racist. I can't say that. Oh, the goddamn forced races in this game. It wouldn't be a PS2 game if it didn't have some race element, right? Mm. I need to get my light somewhat adjusted here. There we go. That's better. I can't say that in nanoseconds after saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, hmm. Where did I have to go for this? Okay. That's for confronting that. That's all good right there. Bring prize to the agent. Oh, okay. Well then, hold on. I need to do that first. Forced race sections. Hey man, look. It's all these social justice warriors. I can't say that without laughing. I'm making my way to the agent in the night. I can't sing about bones in the night anymore. Oh, and for anyone out there uh, who has um, not heard the news, uh, your boy decided to uh, upload my streams to YouTube, so that way you can see them uh, in the interim, that I never end up getting 50 followers, and then Twitch will save them for me, so they don't have to sit on my hard drive for eons and eons. So. Sand sharks in the day. Looking for sand sharks in the day. <laughs> anyway, um, so feel free to look up uh, Ethan Plays for Sarah on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to be like releasing content just for YouTube. I think it's mainly just going to be a place where I upload my Twitch streams until YouTube eventually finds out and then is like, hey, you should stream on YouTube and not use Twitch because. We don't like people using products that aren't ours, like a bunch of fucking dictators of content. So that's fun. If you want to impress this agent, you'll have to win a hoverboard. Blackwater race. City on Planet Real God, God damn it. City. Are you telling me I could have just Okay, whatever. It's fine. But yeah, so um, you can fully see the quality of content my streams and how, how much it has changed in all that time. Um, I dropped quite a few frames on the Peglin stream earlier today. Uh, the recording should still be clean, but the frames I dropped, like there's nothing I dropped today uh, for tonight's stream because I, I think at the same time I was still trying to like upload videos to YouTube while I was streaming, which was just not smart on my part. Um, what else do I have to do here? Okay, so I think I need to unlock that planet, which means I need to confront the robot lieutenant. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to briefly go on BRB and make myself another chocolate milk, as they yes, say. Quite lovely. Uh, maybe not that chocolate milk exactly, it. but we'll figure it out. Commander, we are Hold on, I do want to see world. this. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. All right, I will be right back, and then we will continue with the stream.
all souped up and ready to continue. Cheers. Again, look at this fucking unbridled racism. Um, I I didn't really have anything in my uh, in my home which super matched or was really perfect. So I I, I have this rum Smith and Cross, which is so insanely fucking funky, like incredibly so. And, uh, I just put some lime juice in and, like, a can of tonic. Okay, uh, tonic might not have been the perfect best choice, but the bitter, with all the funk, does kind of work out well. So I don't hate it, like, at all, but it's not a conventional rum drink. Typically soda and maybe some simple syrup would have been a better choice, but, eh, that's, that's me. Doing unconventionality for the sake of continuing to poison myself. Bitter funk, yeah, well, that sounds like a kind of music genre that I would listen to, and also uh, an uncomfortable comment about semen, but you know, that's fine. Let's see here. Turn up my mic again. Okay, sure, I can do that. There we are. I think that should be better. All right. Sure. That's good. Come on. Hey, there we go. Only took a second. All right. Well, hey, appreciate you popping in and all, man. Nice to always see you. All right, we'll see you around. We'll be going a little later tonight. Tee hee. Definitely see it. Whoa. 
Okay, come on, Ethan. Oh boy. Okay. Ugh! Almost screwed the pooch there. Okay. Collecting all our nuts and bolts. quite expecting, but alright, sure. There appears to be a thingy over there. Oh no, I guess that's if I want to go back. I don't really know why I would, but alright, sure. I've been just audio till now, the PS2 graphics. Yeah, well, so remember, it, it is remastered, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun. I like it. Hmm. Okay, so that one's green. That one's also green. Now... Oh, no, no. There we go. Yeah, man, look, you know, as long as you get the the same, like, it, it's giving me nostalgia and I didn't even play this game. Like, I remember seeing commercials for all these games all the time and all this other stuff, and like, it is cool. Oh, look who it is. Hmm? You just sure showed him. I suppose I did. <laughs> Way to make Clank feel good, finally. Is that a donkey thing? Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS. Log Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Trek. You know, I was thinking of playing Jack and Daxter as well, actually. I, like, legitimately, I downloaded it and everything, so. Warhead Assembly Technician. Mutant Animal Husband. Robot Repair Man. Suck Cannon Test Dummy. And Administrative Assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and we talk to the scientists. <coughs> they work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. I'm back to hating uh, Ratchet. <laughs> Fully uh, think he is a scumbag bumblefuck. <laughs> As they say in reggae culture, bumbaclot, bumbaclot, bra, bra, scra. Jack wasn't an asshole, that was Daxter's role. It's true. And Daxter got his own adventure on the uh, the PSP, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure I remember that. I will fight. I will fight every motherfucker who gets in my way. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Wow, you look so sexy, Clank. Anything for my robot princess! <laughs> I don't know why I'm immediately thinking about Tommy Wiseau, but I am. Um, hmm. You didn't you didn't play the one uh, where Tommy Wiseau is the main character? Well, that sounds like a you problem, honestly. I'm kidding. I know you're not talking about that. But like, what if you were though? Wouldn't that be fun? Clank Wiseau. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Can I make this jump? I don't know if I can. Nope. Whoa, dude. That was dark. Holy shitballs. 
I able to uh, activate this like device? Because I think I need to just get rid of the wood in here. So is that like, is there like a button I can press or something? Like it looks like it's supposed to destroy the wood. Or do I just go across this bridge and not be a dummy? Yo, or I could just do that and not be a dummy. Wow, Ethan, you suck. <laughs> it's fine. But now I know, you know? Oh, you need to get rid of some wood? Right. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Music in this game is fun too. Yeah, man, I'm legit enjoying my time, so that's good. That's what Sarah would want from me. So. Did you see that fucking crane crank, I guess. Uh, it's not really a kick, more than a swing, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, like, I'm I'm getting nostalgia for a game I've just played for the first time today. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty powerful feeling. It's fun, legitimately. So. I am curious how many levels there actually are. I mean, I know it's like... PS2 game, so there could be a decent amount, to be fair. It doesn't have to be, like, a full 17-hour game, but it might be. I guess we'll find out. Honestly, I would not have been happy if I, if I had to play fucking Assassin's Creed. <laughs> like, it's for some, it's not for me. I said that, I meant it, and I feel it with all my heart. So, do with that as you will. And it's not like, you know, Sarah was sitting there playing Assassin's Creed all the time. She wasn't, but, like... It's just one of those things where, like, I think her family thought it looked cool. And then they were like, oh, it looks so cool. Look at the cool cutscenes. Like, Sarah's family, more than almost any gaming family I've ever seen, was like, oh my god, look at the cutscenes. That was so fun. <laughs> and for me, I'm a, <laughs> maybe I'm spoiled, but I really was kind of like, I mean, like, I guess it's fine. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's like, just okay, I guess. Like, I was just a, such a spoiled asshole. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I picked this up myself, actually. It's, it is nice. Like, I'm, I'm legit doing all right here. Uh, I look like a secret. Bye. I, you know, yeah, maybe it is just not my taste, but like, like clearly there are people like in my chat who like it, and I just, I, I, I legit do not understand how they like it, uh, but you know, cool. Like I played, I played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. It's not like I haven't even given it a shot. Like I have legitimately played it, but I just, it's, it's never been for me. <laughs> I, I guess. I mean, like, in a way, they I think they say, like, you'll be happier if that's the case, so, you know, like, kudos. It's you're easier to please, I guess. Which, like, you know, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. It's just not quite for me. 
You know, and it's and it's it's funny that you say that, Lyra, because legitimately, uh, there have been plenty of people I have talked with that um, that say that like the uh, the later games are just so much better, and like they've only gotten more advanced over time. And for me, I'm like, I do, I don't give a fuck about factions or building a boat or doing naval combat or like whatever the fuck it like I just don't care I really fucking don't and you know like if you do cool that's that's awesome like legitimately good for you but like I don't I don't know man it's just not for me it's really not and again you said it yourself like that's fine there's nothing wrong with that also I forgot all these barrels Sarah would be very upset if I did, so I'm gonna go get those real quick. Alright, I think I got a... Yeah, alright, let's see here. Yep, there we go. I knew it! I know things. This is probably how I'm gonna afford that, you know, 75,000 thing. I know I'm already beyond it, but like, you know, so that way I can start working my way towards affording all weapons eventually, you know? And no, being easy to please isn't always a guarantee that it's good, because I guess there's something to be said about, like, having a taste, but, I mean, I don't know, like, legitimately, you'll go through life feeling kind of okay, not a bad thing. Like, I wouldn't begrudge anyone of that. I think that's a perfectly fine way to live your life. It's just not how I do, to be fair. So, ah, I think this new setup is good. It's it's growing on me slowly. I have to like look up here because I moved my second screen above the big one down here. Um, I don't think it's like really bad. So it's cool. Got that going for me. So I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> I gotta watch the ending to Caddyshack. My family, uh, my extended family when they were in town, a lot of my cousins had, like, not seen Caddyshack, which blew my dad and I away, so we were like, oh, well, you obviously have to watch it. Um, oh, you want me to fight you, huh? Okay, cool. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> um, Glove of Doom. Yo, what's a glove of doom? I want a fucking glove of doom. Is that the new weapon? Um, everyone does different, and that's okay. No, Lyra, I have the 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 epitome of taste and class, and everyone should follow my lead by seeking culture and sophistication, pouring out my ass. I want great big stuff. This is how I want to live. Great big stuff. No, 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 no alternative. Great big stuff. I don't give a damn what it's for. Every night's my birthday. Every day is my bar mitzvah. Hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah, Caddyshack is like... I mean... I don't think it's, like, the greatest movie of all time or anything, but, like, legitimately, as far as comedy movies go from the, what is it, the 70s or the 80s, one way or the other, it's phenomenal, and I think it's a great representation of, like, one of the best in that, in that vicinity, so, yeah, like, I certainly don't think it's, uh, unworth of, of a watch. What is, what is happening here? That was weird. Okay. Um, sorry, I had to like check something on my phone and then my computer started acting weird for a split second. Uh, anything over here, anything over here. Okay. Whee. Yeah, no, but like, Bill Murray, um, God, how do I not know? Uh, Chevy Chase, like, there's a lot of legitimately like great, uh, comedic actors in Caddyshack, and it is got like a lot of really funny jokes. Um, it's very inappropriate, but like it's 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 raunchy, but like not necessarily as like excessively so as say something like you know Van Wilder or, or like outright rapey as like Revenge of the Nerds. 
it's not it's certainly worth people's time i would you know i'll i'll recommend caddyshack sure if you're responsible and old enough yeah watch it shit's great it slaps yo is this my hand of doom the suck cannon yo i got that suck then fire them out as high caliber missiles caution enemies must be small enough to get inside i don't know if you guys saw because it was in the top corner of the screen it said i legitimately got an, an objective called very sucky and that's really funny movie night with the crew i I don't know how people would feel about potentially watching Caddyshack in our friend group. I I mean like in person? Hell, maybe Paul would want to watch it. I'll watch it with Paul. That'd be really interesting to have a drink. Like pour pour like out of whiskey and watch Caddyshack with Paul. Like fuck yeah, that'd be kind of fucking funny. Our friend uh, Tracy's husband, his name is Paul. That'd be for, for context for those watching. The Glove of Doom. Yo. What, I just, like, fist people to death now? Yo, what? I throw out, like, little mini chomp bots? That's kind of cool. I dig that. Um... Huh. Okay. Do I need to, like, go up here? Hmm. No, I need to, like, go up there. Thanks. Yeah, I need to go in here, apparently. Come on, give me a sign. No, wait. What? What What tasks do I have left? Oh. No, I've already done it. Oh, okay. Cool. So I'm done here. Yeah, the robot lieutenant ran away like a little piss boy. You're meeting Paul first, apparently. I mean, I've met Paul a few times. Like, he's a great guy. He's very fun. But, like, you're... Yeah, you gotta, like, meet him first. So that'll be interesting. Oh, like he's picking you up first? Um, I mean, we don't have to discuss this here on, on the stream. I don't want you to have to, like, dox yourself or something, but... Um, yeah, I don't have a prize. Blarg Station. Yo, I'll explore a Blarg Station. What's on the info bot? Oh, wait, no, I already, I already saw this. Okay, let's go take a look. Ugh. He's picking you up from the airport. Well, he's a nice guy, so... Who's coming for you? I don't know, man. Like, there's a lot of weirdos out there. Anything's possible. Uh, the Taunter? Sure. <coughs> oh, it, like, brings people to me? suck cannon do okay so that's like a switch I'll break all this shit man I'm gonna fuck red early flight 
Damn, dog. That's crazy. Girl, you crazy. Alright, let's do a puzzle. Those are yellow, and that's all fine and dandy, but like... There's something I'm missing here, almost. some real quality mind play going on here with myself. I'm like gaslighting myself to try and figure this out here. See that? Like it's almost there. It's just that one on the side there. legitimately what I got to do here.
Yeah. So, like, I think... Oh, man! Why is it... Why is it being obtuse like that, you know? Maybe if I... Rotate it around here... Because, like, it can't... It doesn't seem like it can legitimately be in that neck of the woods. Like, everything is... But it needs to be green. That's the crazy thing. So, like, that's why I'm a little curious as to why it's that. Man, this is, like, superior security, huh? Bunch of evil bastards, though these invader guys might be. They seem to know what they're fucking doing, huh? Okay, that doesn't seem to like that. So maybe I need to keep rotating until I can find a means here. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm on the right track here. Okay. Why is it being obtuse like this? Oh, you see this? Like, I'm so close. I'm so close. Um, hey! There it is. Oh, my God. I'm sure there's someone watching who has played through this and is like, dude, it was so obvious this whole time. You idiot. <laughs> uh... Make sure it's properly saving here. Send Clank to explore outside the station. What? Clank gets levels? That's kind of cool. Okay. Hell yeah. Hmm. That's crazy. I didn't know Clanky got some levels. Clank, my boy. Clank a doodle daisy, bro. Thank you. Um, let me see here. Damn, bro. Holy shit balls. Can I can I use these? No? Okay. Plank does not seem a fighter. And that's fine. I've accepted that much. Jump. Then press and hold the X button again while in the air to fly. Can I go over here? I don't think so. 
I know I'm not, like, probably supposed to break those, but... Bolt, you know? Mm. Yeah! I'll punch the shit out of some space bugs. Don't even at me. I like how I'm just, like, in the vacuum of space. Because, you know, robot. It's fun. I can go that way. Can I go... I can go that way. I want to go that way first. I like how I can use a helicopter in space, like a, <laughs> like even though there's no air. That's kind of interesting, right? I mean, I, it's a video game. I'm, I shouldn't. Oh, that's what I get for questioning the physics. I suck. Oh, man, that blows. I know it's not going to make me like do all of that stuff over, but damn, it hurts. I'm not a true MLG clank player, guys. I'm sorry. I don't have, like, the cool chosen nostalgia like the rest of you. I'm sorry that I'm just, like, a normie. <laughs> Alright. Sense is made. Sense is made, not earned. Helicopters in space! <laughs> Helicopters in space, coming to IMAX. That sounds like, yeah, that sounds like a cool film. I think, anyway. Yo, check out this quality strafe climb gameplay. Only true MLG Clank players know this one move. Ratchet players will hate this one move. Sign up to know more. I'll take some health, sure. You have just activated a gadget. Hello, little friends. Hold down the triangle button. Wow, guys, I'm playing Pikmin all of a sudden, huh? That's actually kind of awesome. I need them to follow me. Top 10, Mojo 10's top 10 clank moves. Jesus Christ, that's funny. Oh my god! Holy shit balls! I'm a murderer! Is this a revolution? Guys, am I... Wow, that's crazy. Thanks guys, that was really cool. Yo, what? Clank gets weapons? <laughs> mm. The Gadgetron Hydro Displacer uses Insta faucets and Insta drains. Using it, you can drain and fill pools. Our sensors do not detect any on this space station. Okay. Well, that's good to know for the future, though. <clears throat> I know I said I might play till 11. Where I am right now, physically, emotionally, that seems like a little draining. So I think uh, I'm going to finish up getting back here. And then that'll probably be it for the evening. I got a, 
I gotta rest up a little bit. I've had some weird, you know, schedules with my sleep and everything, thanks to family being here. So, I appreciate everyone popping in, though. And I do, I will get this mic thing squared away. I'm happy this new one works uh, better than the old one. And thanks to people for sitting in and listening to me while I, uh... Well, Just while I had my moment. Quick select from the menu. So, it's been nice. Uh, and I do appreciate it. Um, yeah. I can understand why Sarah likes this game. I will definitely keep giving it some playthrough here eventually. Hi there, Quest Ball. Um, so yeah. Just really appreciate folks being here, as per usual. Uh, let me save my progress. Cool. And with that, that'll be it for now. But really appreciate everyone being here, as per usual. I will talk to you all later. Hope you have a great rest of the night. Thanks, guys. Thank you.